Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my NHL 21 franchise mode here in Newark, New Jersey. In the previous episode, we entered the new year and IRL, we entered 2021 and I am excited to be here. I'm happy you guys are here with me, my assistant general managers. We are trying to go for yet another Stanley Cup. Hey, VW. Hey, Ola. Hey, Scaring My Sis. How is everybody today? Let's wait for a couple people to come in here. I want maybe maybe 20 people in here for the stream. I, I need my GMs to help me out. I don't plan on making any big moves this episode. I just need you here for moral support. The season so far, 29, 6, and 3. We are, I believe, tied for best in the league. We have... Three games at hand on the Jets, so if we can win two of three, we'll be the best team in the league by far. Hey TGJ, how's it going guys? I'm excited for this episode, because then we jump right into the postseason, and I think this team at this point is guaranteed to make it. I would like another President's Trophy though. Four in a row? Potentially. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's... Let's get into the groove, ladies and gentlemen. New year, new me. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I, I had a really interesting uh, thing at the end of the last episode. Our penalty kill is 91%. 91.9%. Basically 92. Insane. Absolutely insane. Insane. I don't understand how that's even physically possible. I'm sure we'll fizzle out. That, that usually how it happens. Stats are skewed mid-season. So I'm not too, too sure. A regular season so far, Cole Caulfield leading the way in goals. One of the best goal scorers in the league. Jack Hughes and Cole Caulfield are two of the best players in the league right now. Jake Umberger is one of the best defensemen. He is the best defenseman, by the way. We're having a good season. Jesper Wolstead is probably the best goalie in the league right now. Now... <laughs> turning turning around playing devil's advocate this team might struggle towards the end because we have a relatively young team the name of the last episode was youth movement we have guys like javon betts russ ellison bryce leg eric gomez akerstrom and kavan those are very young players i'm not i'm what is the average age of this team 25 is probably the average age of this squad. Insane. Insane. Defensively, we got a young defensive core as well. We have a good team. We have a good team. Uh, John Ellis, uh, you want me to trade Carlo for Murphy right now? I mean, maybe we look at that towards the deadline, but I'm not too sure. I mean, I'm, I'm liking what Carlo's doing right now. He's playing. He's, pl he's plus 17. I really don't want to mess up too, too much about this squad unless things change. Play leg more? Well, okay. Where would Bryce leg go? Realistically. Trust me, I, 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 he is going to get more time, but only, right now he's only a fourth liner. I'm not going to give him more time over Russ Ellison or Betts. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Owen puts the D in Devils. I love that. I love that. Okay. Now, I think I should check contracts real quick because contracts are going to be a tough tough problem at the end of this year once again our captain needs a contract Drysdale is a player that'll probably let go like how much does he want how much does he want five mil isn't bad but oh and I press back why 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 new year same me it's it's the same old crap <laughs> uh, you got Big Texas and Eric Gomez Eric Gomez surprisingly wants a relatively cheap contract bringing three years for 3.3 I wonder where's my phone at I wonder I wonder if I can offer him a low ball contract for three years because at three years I'm okay with that. How about eight years? What is What would he want for eight years? 4.5. He's going to be our longtime third center. So 4.5 times 0.85 equals 3.8. That's not much of a pay raise from it currently. 
So if we go up to four point uh, three point nine, I'm okay with that. Hey Ola, how's it going, man? Okay, don't worry. I will check players on the block towards the deadline. I'm just not sure if I really want to change too too much. Okay, Eric Gomez for that. How about Big Texas? Big Texas for two seasons at two point nine. That's at an 84 overall. That's really, really good. And I don't feel like giving him that long term of a contract. So 2.9, 2.9 really, really, really settles down our depth. So if I can get him around 2.6, 2 2.6 would be great for two years. Those two guys, two centermen or bottom six centers settle down for a couple of years. I'm happy with that. Nico Hiche, I'm going to hold off on Nico. This is a guy I would like to extend at a certain point, but not this very moment, because I'm not sure he's worth 9.925. I mean, he's great, don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure, because we also have Jesper Wallstedt, our starting goalie, that we have to deal with. But uh, other than that, I'm going to wait off. I'm going to wait off, hold off for a hot second, because I think our captain should take maybe just a bit of a pay cut. So we are here in January 2027. Bryce Anthony, welcome to the chat. How's it going, man? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to, let's, uh, let's uh, go to the end of the month. I, I really don't need to micromanage this team too, too much. I think we're winners. That's what we are. 9-2 victory. Alexander Texier, Big Texas, has re-signed for two years. Love it. Okay. Eric Gomez has been a problem in the past. Eric Gomez has signed a an eight-year deal. Holy moly. At a, I think that's a relatively awesome... I think that's a great contract. Uh, Bobby Woodworth for Shakir Muka Amal Aldulin. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. That's stupid. 30 wins on the season. Keep it going, New Jersey. That's a 3-2 shootout loss. As long as we're getting points. Noah Yolson has a history of injury problems out until January 14th. I'll just go head coach for place player. 4-3 uh, loss. 4-1 win. Nice rebound victory against the Flames. Columbus, that's an 8-2 win. Yeah, cap space is going to be a problem next year. Cap space is definitely going to be a It's going to be a problem every year from here on out from every year from literally every year from here on out uh, okay noah yolson let's get him back in there okay uh yeah that, that, that's fine we'll check stats out here in a second uh somebody said to check free agency i think yeah i guess i mean we really don't have much cap right now how much how much money do we have at this very second we have nothing Literally have no money, but the, I mean, yeah, there's no real players out here in free agency. I mean, I could, I could pick up these low elites. I could go uh, this dude, RFA, then I can get, just for trade assets, you know, it wouldn't really hurt. We're at, uh, we're at 47 contracts. Bring on those guys. I, I just bring on those two guys. That's fine. How was my New Year's? It was, pr it was, pr it was quiet, but I'm happy with that, you know? I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy. Uh, it was quiet. I was happy that it was quiet. You know, I didn't want to go out partying, obviously, with a pandemic. I would have loved to see my friends, but, you know, pandemic. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, you're recreating the KHL. That's pretty awesome, Bryce. Uh, Harkelala signed. Nice. Weirkoch is also signed. Nice. That's two losses in a row, Chicago. Not Chicago. New Jersey. New Jersey. What's going on, New Jersey? See, I knew this team's going to be a weird team. I think we're built for the playoffs, but we're going to be stingy here or there. View draft class might as well. Let's go. So it's, it's a stack draft this year. You got Andre Leonov. That is the first overall player. You got uh, Rikis. You got Burkholz. So I did a solid job, I think, scouting the top... 20 this year i mean my scouts are still crappy but i optimized it, optimized it as much as i can without killing myself i'm also gonna a goalie Ooh, i like goalies did i get lit on new year's uh, i got a little tipsy nothing crazy because i had a bad experience the other day with alcohol don't drink kids it's not fun oh well it's a little fun if you know what i mean but don't drink if you're underage god 
Uh, Nashville Predators are fighting their head coach. Hey, it's Blues fans react in the chat, everyone. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. If if you don't go subscribe to my fellow friend, my fellow YouTube friend, Blues fans reacts, uh, you're doing yourself uh, a disfavor. Is that what they call that? Go subscribe to him. He is the MVP of the Blues community here on YouTube. Uh, if you're not a Blues fan, he's still entertaining as hell. He's smart as hell when it comes to hockey. He's super knowledgeable. He's just all around fun time. Uh, highly suggest go subscribe to him because he's freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, it is. It is. No, don't drink, kids. Don't drink. Okay. Uh, Cole Caulfield with 70, oh, 40 goals in 50 games. Is he going to crack the 60 goal mark this year? Oh, please, Cole. Please, please, Cole Caulfield, once. Do it. Do it. Do it. He's officially at 27 years of age, so he's not going to grow too, too much more. Uh, Jack Hughes with 70. They've both been great. Disservice. Disservice. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot the word. <laughs> oh, Sorry. My, my bad. Uh, Vatili Kratsov is almost a point per game with 20-plus goals. I like that. Nico Hishi at 42. Solid. And Liam Ackerstrom at 39. What's his career average? Uh, 60s, 70s. Okay, that's fine. Cole Caulfield is not overrated. What are you talking about? Uh, Charlie Cavanaugh, CC, double C. Uh, he's been pretty good as a, as in his sophomore season as the reigning uh, Calder winner. 39 points in 50 games. That's actually a pretty damn good. Russ Ellison as a rookie. One of the best rookies in the league this year. I like to see that. Eric Gomez has not been the best. He's by far having his worst NHL season. Even though we started him on the second line. You know, I guess the talent around him isn't as good as it used to be. But I still trust him. I think we got him on a good contract. Either way, if we need to trade him away, that's an easy contract to move. Yeah, it looks like he's going to have a down season. Alexander Texier has been solid on that fourth line. Betts and uh, Bryce Legg have been solid rookies. Paterka, not a bad uh, player down there on the fourth line. A uh, defenseman, Jake goddamn Umberger is so good. He's so good. He's so damn good. 59 points. I'm so glad I made, I'm so glad I drafted this kid. Fourth overall. Oh my God. Oh my God. Tr trade for, for uh, Fabry. Uh, isn't, is, is that one of the, no, who am I thinking of? Who's that one player from St. Louis that was always injured? Was it Fabry? Fabry, whatever. Yeah, Eric, Eric Gomez will, will yeah, he, he'll bounce back next year, I believe. I think it was just a weird uh, season for this entire team. I still think we're pretty damn good. Uh, hey, it's Power Play Hockey. How's it going, man? Uh, Jay Berger for Norris. I completely agree. Luke Hughes has been phenomenal. And we got both of them locked down forever. Brant Clark, sign Tyroning. He doesn't really have a spot on this team. If I were to sign him, I'd chuck him down there in the AHL. That wouldn't do him... That would be a disservice. See what I did there? Uh, Noah Yolson, 19 points. Brandon Carlo hasn't been bad. He's a plus 14. Drysdale, as that offensive defenseman, not really putting up the best offensive numbers, has been a great shutdown guy for us. I do like February. I remember, was he on Team Canada a while back? I feel like he was, the junior team. He was really damn good. Uh, Jesper Wallstead and our backup in Frederick Murphy have been... A phenomenal tandem. Yes, Jesper Walsh has come back down to earth, but if he can play at a 915 and a 225, that's going to win us 60 games. That can, that's pretty damn good. I'm happy with that. Now the postseason is a different, uh, different beast, but we will get to that when we get to that. 36, 10, and four. Let's see. I just, I gotta check contracts every so often. So Nico Hiche still wants a round 10. Which I'm not totally up for giving that to him. Okay. Yeah, he wants the same contract. 15 mil left. So, $15 million left. That means we're going to lose the majority of our depth. Which we'll just re-sign in free agency. Hey, it's Tomas. Welcome. Hey, it's Jesus Christ. I know exactly who that is. <laughs> I love that. Mike Hoffman is a blue. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, Drysdale probably going to trade him. Let him go in free agency. Let a team offer him uh, 
couple million dollars. I'm not probably trade him away. That's probably the better option. Probably gonna lose Paterka. I mean, if we're we if we were to get him back right now, he's 1.9. That's really damn cheap. As a fourth line guy, he's been really damn good for us. He's putting up really he's putting up great numbers on that fourth line. He's not a liability. Obviously, it's a down down season, but he is playing a comparative to last year. He's playing three less minutes. You know, that that does suck for him though. But uh, I gotta I gotta wait off because we got Nico Hiche. That's obviously a guy we want to bring back, but that is a little bit of a raise that he does deserve. I know. And then we got the 94 overall goalie in uh, Jesper Wallstead, who I don't want to give 10 million dollars to left. So, uh, or two, not what. Uh, hey boys, what have I missed? Hey Nate, what? How's it going, man? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, I haven't missed too, too much. Haven't made any big trades yet. So we do have the deadline. We do have the deadline. I don't really plan on making any trades. I think this team is fine. Trade Paterka, Emil Bemstrom, and a pick. He's a great sniper and really sims well for me, even though he's a medium top nine. It's, I really don't want to touch too, too much, you know? I really don't want to. <laughs> oh, Eric Gomez, no, I just looked at... Damn it, Eric! Oh, for the love of God, Eric Gomez. February 19th, that's not too long. I'm just going to go head coach replace player there for a bit. Okay, that's two losses in a row. This team is this team is weird. This team is definitely, I think, impressive, but we are young. The young kids are going to make mistakes, and I accept that. Okay, and Noah Yolson is... Oh, my God, injured again. Yeah, we're taking injuries. I'd rather take them now, get them out of the way before the postseason. I'm happy with that. Uh, make Tyronning 99 overall in my next franchise mode. Well, I'm not sure about that. Not sure about that. Uh, you know, have we? Yeah, we haven't seen Gage in a while. I miss him. I miss him a lot. But uh, it's okay. He'll come around when he comes around. I don't expect people to be here every single day. I should trade Paterko. Ah, I don't feel like trading Paterko. If we want to win right now, we got to win right now. The good news is he's an RFA at the end of this year, I believe. So we have his rights. It's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. It, yeah, it, we'll trade him away at some point. Probably at the end of this year. But if, uh, how am I going to trade him for right now? Who's better for us overall, right? I just don't see it. Uh, what are the total points? Looking for the kids, Kevin uh, Gomez. Gomez is uh, currently at... He's having a rough season. He's at barely 20 points. He's had a rough, rough year. Kavanaugh has played great. He's currently at 48 and uh, 58. So he's broken his rookie season, shattered it. So what else was I looking at? Noah Yolson. God, you're so goddamn injury prone. I mean, your, your uh, durability is only 74. I completely understand that. But uh, we're going to need him for the, uh, we're going to need him for the playoffs. So that's uh, four wins in a row. Yeah, I got to keep, uh, I got to, keep uh paterka three nothing loss we should never ever get shut out that's that's not real we that should not ever happen uh noah yolson is fully healed nice we'll get him back in the lineup yeah paterka is gonna be great for the playoff run and then we're gonna lose him at the end of this year most likely due to cap but gomez is a bit overrated i think he's just having a down year he's literally just having a down year <laughs> don't sign Hoffman ever no don't do not do it especially not for his wife oh Norlinder I remember when we had him what are you looking like now what are you looking like now 1 million dollars 82 overall guy I mean that's not bad like he grew to something okay I'm just glad I traded him away when I did okay uh hey it's Mike Ike love to see it love to see it yeah I'm not why would I do that trade our defense is stacked so we beat Carolina there. Not a bad month. Weird. I mean, three losses is okay. I'm fine with that. Easy. So 91 points. Cole Caulfield has hit the 50 goal plateau. Is he going to finally hit 60 in his career? I think he can do it. I th he has to be up there in the NHL with goals, right? Yeah, I don't want to just trade for Bemstrom if it... Yeah, I, I doubt he's any good in this franchise mode anyways. And especially I'd rather... Who is he going to replace on my lineup? Really? That does I know. Exactly. Sign sign Chris Kreider. That's an awful idea. I hate him. 91 points for Cole. He's going to he's going to break 100 points this year. That's awesome. So we are currently at 92 points, 20 ahead of the Capitals. 
Uh, we are the best team in the league. Avalanche have 89. And so we've played uh, the same game. So it's actually relatively close for that uh, for that uh, President's Trophy. Yeah, so let's go ahead and check out the points before the deadline. And then we're going to check around the league. I'm not even sure if I'm going to enter the deadline, if I'm just going to be sitting there for 10, 15 minutes. Like, I, <laughs> I don't really want to make any trades. Okay, 91 points, 50 goals for Cole. By far his best productive season so far. He has a bunch of games to go. Uh, I think he can do it. I think he can, yeah. So 59 is his best in his sophomore season. Can he do it? Can he hit 60? Can he freaking do it? Just play it safe. Yeah, I really want to just play it safe this year. I, I really don't want to change anything. I there is nothing out there that I would like to change. Jack Hughes with 84. My God, they could both hit 100. Oh, and choose an NHL team, any one of 31. Any one of 31. Uh, uh, let me think. Why is that so difficult? Uh, the Nashville Predators. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, Cole is going off as well as Jack. Yeah, they're having a great season. So Vatili is definitely helping them out there. They're all really high pluses. 30 penalty minutes for Cole, but that doesn't really matter because he scores. Nico Hiche is having a great year. Kavanaugh's having a great year. Ackersrum's having a great year. The rookie in Russ Ellison has 22 goals, third on the team. Betts is having a great rookie year. Alexander Texier is having a great year with the New Jersey Devils. They're all doing really well. The only really disappointing player is uh, Eric Gomez. Like, he is... Yeah, I, I get it. He's having an off season. He's been great for the last three years. We got a cup out of it. If we need to move on from him, we'll move on from him. You know. The only thing I would recommend is if there's a cheap one year playmaker just to improve injury depth for the playoffs. Okay, I'm. I'm I don't even know if I want to jump into. I'll check around the league before the deadline. But I, I mean, I don't want to sit there for ten minutes if I don't have to. Uh, Bryce Lake with 10 goals, though. That's actually quite impressive as a rookie. Uh, defensively, your boy Jake Umberger, 70 points as a defenseman. <laughs> He's so good. Oh, so damn good. So, so damn good. Luke Hughes with 44. Brant Clark is having a great year. Same with Noah Yolson, even with the injuries. Brant Clark, uh, Brandon Carlo and uh, Drysdale are a great pairing there on the bottom line. Goalies, uh, Wallstead got better. Say, uh, goals against is basically the same and uh, Murphy is playing great so before we go to the deadline before we go to the deadline I am going to check the entire league for uh, award races best goal in the league right now I would say personally it's Wallstead you can debate uh, Hellebuck for save percentage but goals against I think is way more important there uh, let me go to rookie skaters is it Russ Ellison Russ Ellison is right behind him but uh, Blake is playing really damn good hockey. Russ Ellison's going to have to pick it up if he wants to win it. Two years in a row for New Jersey Devils uh, Calders, potentially. So, uh, defenseman, it's got to be it's got to be Jake Umberger, right? Yeah, Jake Umberger all the way. I mean, plus minus is the same as McCarr, but that's an eight point difference. That's easily easily Jake Umberger. There's no there's no comparison, no goddamn comparison. Uh, okay, how about that, our Ross? Uh, I mean, is it Cole Caulfield? Cole Caulfield is two behind. Cole Caulfield is going off. Cole Caulfield could be the first ever New Jersey Devil with 100 points. I should take a, I could, I should take a look at the re record book. Uh, two, po two goals ahead of New Hook. He is, he is going off, goddamn. Holy crap. Cole Caulfield's playing great hockey. So before anything else... We are going to go ahead, do our due diligence, because I don't even know if I'm going to jump into the deadline. If there's anything out here that makes sense, then yeah, I might jump into the deadline, but I, I'm not sure if I want to, you know? Okay, Yanni Gord, nothing crazy there. Uh, yeah, because we don't really have any cap. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't have any cap. No cap. We have no cap. Like, none in the slightest. Even at the deadline, it would increase, but... We have next to none. Hold on. Uh, Janssen's not bad. Uh, Kukunen, a former New Jersey Devil. Uh, not playing bad for the Buffalo Sabres. Nothing there that I like. Yeah, see, there's nothing I really want to add. There's, I like the team as it is. I don't want to trade away any young players. If I were to do anything, I'd probably trade for a young kid somewhere, you know? But... 
You got a young defenseman here. You got two. You got Becker and Tikhanov. Two actually really solid defensive prospects. I mean, ooh. Dmitry Tikhanov. Duchesne is a possibility. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, why do we need a playmaker? Do we need a playmaker that bad for depth, for injury? I mean, John is right. Do that, John. What? Trade Caulfield for Ty Ronning. Ah, yes. Yes, that's a great idea. I love that idea very much. <laughs> Look at Bemstrom. Is Bemstrom even... Okay, fine. I'll do you one thing. And I'm not trading for him, I don't think. Bemstrom. 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 Ben, ben, ben. Bemstrom's right there at 81. 81? You know what? You know what? Is he two-way forward? Or is he... He's a two-way... You know what? Screw it. Bemstrom, welcome to the squad. Uh, you want you want our third round pick for Bemstrom? That's like a solid thing to add. I mean, because we only have three playmakers forward Gorg, Okay, Actrum, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hold on. Don't get Duchesne. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think ah ah. Well, I'm not sure. <coughs> oh my God! Sorry, I don't know why my throat's being all weird. Uh, Ben, really? You don't want to do that trade? Really? How about a third and a fourth? I mean, it's a one-year con- I mean, a third and a sixth. Y'all are being a bunch of douchebags. <laughs> Not you guys. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. What do you want? Can you take something off of her hands? How about, like, Mateos? Like, that's- I mean, why would we even do that? Because he's... I don't understand. We need playmakers, but Duchesne isn't the one. I don't even know if I want to do this trade. That doesn't make any sense. I'm giving up way too much. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to do Bemstrom. Uh, uh, that's too too much. That's too much right now. Uh, yeah, that's too, too much right now. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't want to give that up. Tyler Sagan at $12 million. What an absolute stud. Absolute G. <laughs> oh. Okay, nothing here. So you guys want me to add like a playmaker? Is that I mean, probably wouldn't get in the lineup, would they? No, they no. No. Okay. Kevin Fiala, absolute stud. One of the most underrated players in the NHL. Let's keep it going. Uh anything here. Jersey, love the name. Uh Colin White? Colin White, two-way forward. Nice. Dante Fabro. Nope. Oh, well, you got a defensive defenseman here in Josh Manson. But uh, I, I like our decor. I mean, our guys are playing well, and their overall-wise isn't much isn't much difference. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. <laughs> if, I find, if I find Bemstrom out there in free agency, he's definitely coming home. Uh, coming home, that doesn't even make any sense. Uh, nope, nothing there. Butcher, would love to bring him back. <laughs> uh, for the third time in franchise history. Uh, nothing there. This looks like there's not a whole lot out here, really. I mean, there's... Not, there's... Hmm. Don't trade for the defenseman. Don't trade for defense. Yeah, no, don't trade for defenseman. I don't need to. I don't need to. I really don't. So did I miss anything about? Did I miss anything here? Uh, nope. Looks like I. Looks like I'm fine. I mean, do you guys want me to add Duchesne that bad as a playmaker, depth playmaker? Just in, you know what? Screw it. I mean, we don't even have cap. We do. We have a bit of money. Uh, we'll we'll trade him. You know what? I'll, I'll pick up Duchesne. That's the only actual playmaker that I like. How about a sixth? Okay, they they're not gonna do that. But how about a sixth? And a fourth. <laughs> I'm trying to be cheap. Trade has been accepted. Welcome to the New Jersey Devils. Get March, uh, Marsh, Marchy. Where, where is he? Where's Marchant? Is Marchant even here? Where's Marchant? Don't do it. <laughs> if I, if I already cursed this team, I mean that's a solid player to bring on as a depth option. That doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. Screw to Shane. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so. We add him. I really don't want to go into free agency. I don't feel like it. 
Uh, what what can I do here? I mean, Duchesne's not gonna he's not gonna come in the lineup. Just to, you know, if there's an injury here or there, I think he's a great player to add. Is, is the franchise cursed? Probably, but I think that's a solid player to add. Okay, so I'm not even gonna jump into the trade deadline this year. I I don't think there's any point. I really don't think there's any point. I don't see the I don't see anything there that I actually like. Uh. Uh, continue sinning. So I think I have to redo my entire lineup. I love that. Uh, he's gonna go offside by a mile and still score. I remember that. That was a that was a that's a very specific moment that I remember in hockey. What was that against like Nashville or something? I forget who he did that against. Hey, it's it's Can it's TT Canadian. I said TT. I'm hilarious. Don't worry, Duchesne's not gonna play. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looks like I have to redo my entire lineup. I wish I didn't have to because I didn't make any deadline trades. But here we are. Hold on. To redo everything? Do I? Is it the same? Is that one positive for not going into the deadline? Is it everything this? It's all the same! That's a win for me, baby! I love that! Yes, I don't have to spend 20 friggin' minutes fixing my lineup on live! Yes! <laughs> I love that! Oh, I love that! I love it so much! <laughs> yes! That's a W! Oh, oh, so thank God! Oh, I love that so much! Oh, EA, finally! Uh, oh damn, Blues fans react, go and go record, man, enjoy it, have a great, great evening recording, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's jump back right into the action, we're good to go, baby, <laughs> we're, we're freaking good, uh, cap space will be a problem later, but I don't need to worry about it, all right, this very second, it's a, it's a me problem, okay, let's, let's, uh, let's just keep going, this, we're a great team, I know we're a great team, didn't have to jump into the deadline, Glad it didn't change anything. Montreal, just win some games. We can hit 50 here relatively soon. Dumpster fire Detroit Red Wings would beat it the first of the month. That's another win. Uh, we just traded for Duchesne. We just added the playmaker. Uh, that's two losses in a row. Okay, okay, New Jersey. Settle it down, boys. Come on. There you go. Win I want to see 60 wins. We haven't done that in a while. Boys, what's going on? Jesus. My God. Russ Ellison, why are you... I'm going to disagree. I, I don't know why I tried to... Well, I don't know why I agreed with him. Uh, I don't care, Russ. I really don't right this very second. You're going to stay there on the bottom six and you're going to enjoy it. Russ! Russ, I don't care. Persuade. He's going to be mad about it. Are you a stickler? Are you going to be an idiot? You're going to be an idiot. Love that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, we literally just traded a fourth and a sixth for Duchesne. Uh, there goes Owen crushing my Bemstrom dream. Maybe at a different time, we'll bring him. So it's a weird month so far. Uh, 50, 51 wins. Let's just keep it going. Do we, do we want to slow him a game here to end the season? I think that's a great idea. Draft class. There's a goalie I'm looking at. That franchise player is looking nice. Do we have anybody in La Liga? Somebody's scouting him, apparently. You got a right defenseman. Ooh, I like you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag you. You look nice. If you're a medium elite, that is a player I would love to bring over. That is a player. That's a player. Uh, anybody for potential wise that look nice? There's a goalie there, Trojanovic. I feel like I've had a bunch of Trojanovics in franchise mode. There's a right defenseman here at 62nd. I told you, Owen, Ellison is going to need to be the second line sniper. He is going to be soon, but right now, no. He can wait. He can wait a season. That is, I gave him one season. He can wait. He can wait one season to be there. But right now, he's going to have to wait. 3 nothing. Why are you getting shut out, New Jersey? You have the best offense in the league. What are you doing? What are you doing, New Jersey? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Every single time I... Holy crap, we do we should never ever get shut out. Ever. Ever. How? Does that make any sense? Charlie Damn it, Kavanaugh! Kavanaugh's out. Replace player. Damn. 
It's not, I don't really care. It's for, I mean, I care, obviously. He'll be back. Oh, he's going to miss a little time. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll slow some against Carolina, I guess. There are rivals, I guess. Let's go ahead. First period, going to be 2-1 Carolina. Obviously, we're going to lose this game. 2-1, obviously, we can't score. How are we only putting up one goal in regulation? Oh, Luke Hughes ties it on Vicklund. And Gundler's going to take the lead. Oh, my God, New Jersey. It's the Duchesne curse. It's not Duchesne. He's not even in the lineup, y'all. We're going to get swept in the first round. I can feel it. New Jersey, come on. Come on, boys. Tie it up. You know what? We're going to jump right in. Screw it. Screw it. Y'all, it's not Duchesne. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. How can a player have any effect on the game if he's not even playing? Tell me that. Riddle me this. Riddle, riddle me this. How does that make any sense? Uh, let's go ahead, jump into the game, see if we can take home a W. Hopefully we can force overtime. <laughs> it's not Duchesne's fault. It's literally not. It's not. It's not. It, Y'all are just confirmation bias. That's literally it. Oh, hold on. I got to change the, uh, got to change the camera angle. Okay. Okay. Uh, audio visual settings. Let me go to true broadcast. La -da 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 -da. There you go. He ruins everything. It's literally not new Shane. Chill out, y'all. Chill the hell out. It's fine. Everything is okay. Okay, wait. He skates up. That's a shot on net. Big chance. Four minutes left. We can we can put we can we can tie this up. Not if you do something like that. Jeez. Uh see you later, Nate Wood. Have a great evening, my friend. I'll talk to you later. Have a great night. <gasps> He's the reason why we put it. Oh my god. Ah! It's not new Shane. I saw why is the why is the broadcast like that's a weird angle, right? Why? Why do they shoot backhand like that? It's weird, right? 19 viewers in the I that's awesome guys. This is a great this is the new year. I for, I completely forgot it was January 1st. Oh, Vicklin with another great save. Damn. Duchesne is giving Owen the under-the-table handy so that Owen blames other people. What? What do you mean? No! Ew, get that out of here, Bryce! Why did I even read that? He can screw teams when he's not even in the lineup. <laughs> My god. <laughs> oh, right off the ankle. Boys, we need pressure here. Come on! Come on! Tivu Teravine and skates in. It's going to be a goal. Oh! Why would you take... Oh, my God. I hate this game. The AI, the AI is so incredibly bad in this game. It's not even funny. Why would... There would... There, that happens in no case. Like, why would... That annoys me very much. They're going to score. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's not a real curse. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. Duchesne is a great player. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-oh. 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 We're still going to have time after this penalty kill, if we can kill it off. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on. 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 Play di- How did- Yeah, that- Oh, what a save from Wallstead. Gee, is that Wallstead in the net right now? Go! Ja! Paterka! Duchesne's like the first overall pick without... Uh, Duchesne's like the... F oh, it's Murphy in it. Duchesne is like Taylor Hall without the first overall pick. Yeah, I, I get it. It's the player or your job. What? Guys, it's Duchesne. I literally traded nothing for him. I should have given up a third, but I didn't. I, it's, no, don't worry. As long as we don't get swept in the first round, we're fine. We're fine. Don't worry. There's no curse. There's no Duchesne curse. Y'all are just on some meth right now. And we take a, oh yeah, I hate this game so goddamn much. Are you joking? <laughs> that doesn't happen. Why is this happening? It's not Duchesne. Stop it. One. Why Why would they take a stupid penalty like that? And I don't even want to watch the rest of this game. This is ridiculous. That's stupid. 
That's so dumb. That is so goddamn. No player would ever do that in a situation like that. That never happens. That doesn't happen. I'm sorry. That's so dumb. Those the, the fourth and the sixth round pick for Duchesne won't turn into anything. I promise. And we'll watch. We'll even watch. We are going to break the Duchesne curse. Thank you. We're going to win another Stanley Cup this year. But I don't know what's going on. This AI is ridiculous. Like, how does... Well, we're probably going to lose this game now. Uh, Murphy's not playing the best. Here in simulation, he's playing okay. Oh, another great save. Thank you, Murphy. I thought it was Wallstead, but uh, I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Bemstrom is not going to... I swear to God, if we play Columbus and Bemstrom, I swear to God, I swear to God, it's Blues fan react. It's not. It's not Duchesne. I swear, y'all, chill. It's not Duchesne. It's not Duchesne. It's not. It's not. It's not Duchesne. It's really not. It's not. It's not. Duchesne is paying the refs. <laughs> I'm not in denial. I'm not in denial. I'm not. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, we're gonna literally have 47. Why am I watching this game? This is ridiculous. Who the hell takes two penalties down by one in the last five minutes of the game? How does how does that even happen? How does that how does how does how does that even happen? How does how does that even happen? Oh, we're gonna skate up. I was gonna walk in. Oh, oh, our best chance of the evening. Oh, come on, New Jersey. You have to score there. Oh. Hamburger, wait. Wait. Heroics? Wait. 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 Oh, he skates in. Hamburger. Hamburger. The oh, that's not Hamburger. That's number 80. Who is 88 on this squad? I forget. Bets? I think 88 is Bets. Don't take another goddamn penalty here, boy. Oh. Oh, oh no. I'm not even gonna watch. Oh my god, why am I even here? I hate this game so much. <laughs> Y'all are crazy, you know that? It wasn't Duchesne. Duchesne had no effect on that game. Y'all are just Y'all are just crazy, you know that? Y'all are on drugs or something. <laughs> Three games left, 55 wins. That's a successful season. That's a great year. But we keep losing in regulation. Okay, so 57, 20, and 5. That's a great year. And we clinch the... Oh, my God, we didn't win the President's Trophy. Oh, my God, it's Duchesne. It's all Duchesne. It is. It is. It's all Duchesne. Oh, my God, it is. <laughs> oh, no, we lost the President's Trophy. How did that happen? Who won it? It's the Senators! Ah! The S <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, it's fine. It's not too shade. It's just, we, we're a young team and I'm okay. It's fine. We didn't win the President's Trophy. It's whatever. The Senators won. Wow. Okay, we're not even the best team in the East. That's that's nuts. First time in a while. You know what? Puts us back down to earth. Is Duchesne's not even playing? Cole Caulfield and Jack Hughes are the first players in New Jersey Devils history to hit 100 points. It's a successful season. Stop being stupid. 118 points. 67 goals. He's probably taken home. The Rocket this year. A phenomenal year for Cole Caulfield. The best in New Jersey Devils history. Let's hope we can add a cup to that year as well. Jack Hughes with a phenomenal year. A, an assist per game, by the way. Vatili Kratsov, 77. A great year. 31 goals. That's a lot of goals on the first line. Nico Hiche with 70. 22 goals. Akestrom is one of the weirdest playmaking types I've ever seen in my entire life. 23 goals, 42 assists, 65 points. That's on average for him. Uh, Charlie Cavanaugh in his sophomore season, 62 points. That's a great 
sophomore year. Russ Ellison, one of the best rookies in the league, 42 points. One better than Kavanaugh last year, if I'm not mistaken. Javon Betts with 31, a great rookie year. Eric Gomez, a down year for sure. He was not great. I'm not going to lie. He, he wasn't great. But, you know, if you look at those wingers now, they're not as talented as what, as what they used to be, like Jesper Bratt and uh, James Neal. Back when they had the plus five or plus three on the third line, things change. But uh, I think he'll rebound there for us soon. Alexander Texier with a great season for us. Big Texas. Paterka was great. Uh, Bryce Legg. And, uh, yeah, the, our depth was really damn good. Duchesne played five games. Oh, my God. You know who he... Oh, my, he literally came in for somebody. Oh, my God. When I press best line... When I, oh, God. Oh, my God. 84 points for Jake Umberger. 84. 84 points. 26 goals for Luke Hughes? Who was the last defenseman with 26 goals? Twenty six goals. That's nuts. That's insane. He is a legit sniper. Wow. Holy crap. And they're relatively the same age. Brant Clark was great. Uh, Noah Yolson and Carlo and Drysdale. Drysdale somehow had the least amount of points, but that's fine. Uh, goalie wise. 42 wins, 15 losses, 5 overtime plus shootout, and 2 shootout uh, shutouts. Uh, 9-15 and a 234 goals against. Our backup definitely got worse, though. Nice. What a what a season. What a season. Uh, I think that was a great year. You know, you say Duchesne, whatever. That was one of the best seasons we've had in a long time. Uh, yeah, we didn't win the President's Trophy, but our players overall played better. I think so. 50 wins for Hellebuck. Yeah, he's taken home. Yeah, I mean, you could debate. Eight more wins, though. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be a tight competition, especially with Leonard right there. Yeah, that's tough. Okay. Uh, rookie skaters, Russ Ellison. Russ Ellison falls way behind with 42 points, but I would say that's a successful rookie season for Russ Ellison either way. Blake... It, Nicholas Blake, the uh, third overall pick a couple years ago, is going to win it easy. Yeah, I think so. And then you go to defenseman. It's Jake Umberger. Jake Umberger's winning it. Oh, he might not win it. Plus minus is in favor of Kale McCarr. I swear to God, if they give it to Kale McCarr, I'm going to... Oh, they're going to give it to Kale McCarr. Are you joking? That's insane. That that ticks me right off. That That annoys me. Okay, Art Ross, where is it? Ah, nothing, nothing, nothing went right. Oh my god. One point shy of winning the Art Ross. That is stupid. That's the stupidest thing I've ever... I mean, it's Nathan McKinnon. I can't be too upset, but damn. 67 goals for Cole Caulfield. Crushes his competitor in Alex Newhook. Turcotte, uh, Pedersen, and Cole Caulfield wins his third... Rocket, one of he's had a, he's had a few. He's definitely had a few. So great, great season. Most assists goes to Braden Point. Jack Hughes second. Okay, so it's not Duchesne's fault. It literally isn't Duchesne's fault. It's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, I'm not worried. <laughs> uh, let's check our stats. Uh, we had the best goals for goals against was the best sub 200 goals against. That's phenomenal. Power play was 29%. Our penalty kill was 88%. We were crap at home. We, I mean, we were solid at home. We were great away. We just had a bad last month. It's literally not. It's it's not. I'm not worried in the slightest. We're gonna. We're a good team. If we lose in the first round, you say it all you want. But you literally can't blame me in this situation for trading for Duchesne. That's a fine trade. We literally got an 81 overall for nothing. It's not Duchesne! It's not. Y'all are on meth or something. God. I'm sticking to my guns on that one. Y'all are just stupid. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> it's not Duchesne. Y'all are... It's whatever. So, that was a great season. That was a very successful year. I think that was phenomenal. That was... I think that was a great regular season. Taking home a few awards. 
Who are we playing in the first round? Brandon Carlo is fully healed. We'll make sure to get him in the lineup. The Montreal Canadiens. That is going to be a fun matchup. I feel like we have a couple of injuries. Matt Duchesne's going to have to get out of the lineup. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, Kavanaugh is back. Don't worry. He did. Do, you know what? Duchesne did play the last couple of games. He was crap. He wasn't great. He had two points, though. Minus two. <laughs> Uh, I'm not too mad. It's we'll get Duchesne on the lineup. Don't worry. I mean, even if I mean, yeah, we lost a bunch of games after the deadline, didn't we? But it's literally not Duchesne. He played five games. Okay, deadline we win. Okay, let's let's break it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve wins after the deadline. Losses, we had one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Eight losses. So it was a crap month last month. It really was. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm not worried. I'm really not that worried. But I think that's the end of the episode. Guys. Thank you so much for helping me bring in the new year on a positive note. It was a good season. I'm not that worried. I'm really not. We'll see when we come to the playoffs. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment, share this with people who you think may enjoy this sort of thing. I will see you in the first round. Ciao.